everybody. Welcome back to Talk with Naya. So let's start off with SZA. So congratulations to SZA. Her album SOS remains at number one on Billboard 200 for a third week with 128K units sold. So her album is still doing really good. Are you guys still listening to the SOS album? Now, Nelly Furtado makes a comeback. Do you guys remember Nelly Furtado? I certainly do. I like a few of her songs. Now, Nelly Furtado was on stage in Australia for a New Year's Eve party after a five-year hiatus. So are you guys ready for Nelly Furtado to come back? All right, let's move on to Young Miami. So Young Miami posted a flyer where she'll be going to Houston for an event on January 15th. And people were in her comments saying, what's up with JT? You don't do anything with her anymore? So people were definitely wondering why aren't they doing events or hosting events together? So, and there were also fans in there telling her not to respond to these comments and everything like that. So what do you guys think about that whole situation? Now, we talked about Rolling Stone's top 200 greatest singers of all times list yesterday, and people were on social media really upset about this list and even felt that Beyonce should not have been in the top 10. They also felt that Michael Jackson and Celine Dion were snubbed on this list. Now, Rolling Stone then had to clear the air and said, keep in mind that this is the greatest singers list, not the greatest voices list. So what are your final thoughts on this whole thing? Who do you think should have been in the top 10? Who do you think should have been moved out of the top 10? Because this had a lot of people going crazy on social media now let's move on to diddy so diddy posts a picture of his new baby love and his new baby mama so it seems that diddy is managing his new baby his new baby mama and his other women pretty well so far so we'll see how this goes or if any other women pop up in the new year okay now i also wanted to talk about waka flaka so he had a few words to say in regards to takeoff's passing let me play you what he said speak on nobody deaf but i could tell you this when god bless you right mm -hmm. you have to change your ways you have to evolve you have to that's all i can say right uh i, I can just say wrong place wrong time for these guys they were you know rolling dice so in other words, once you ascend to a certain level, you got to leave that alone. Oh, yeah, I don't you, can't, that. you can't go back to the street. And I know, look, look I don't been, you know, I, with, I all, with all respect, how, why would I roll dice to somebody else that ain't on my tax break? It's liability that some right. shit could happen. I ain't gonna lie, I, I've been there. I watch people die every day like that. That's why I never be him. If it's three o'clock in the morning, I'm not hanging around a bunch of mean, mugging ass motherfuckers. Nigga, if you're not smiling, you're getting away from me. Right. That's my motto. I'm like, yo, bro, he's not smiling. What's wrong with him? They like, give him some shots or he got to go home. Simple as that. Yeah, it was real simple. So I know a lot of people are still still very much affected by Takeoff's passing. It was such an unfortunate thing that happened to him. And people are taking away, you know, things that they, I guess, are not going to do to try to avoid this situation from happening again. It definitely is something that should have never happened. And I'm so upset that this happened to take off. And, you know, we talked about how Quavo was seen out for the first time. We talked about that yesterday. And Offset has been hit really hard with this. And I'm sure his family is still going through a lot, especially with the holidays passing right after, you know, he passed. I mean, he passed what was it, November 1st or the 30 or October 31st? And then you had to go through Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's without him. So I really hope the family continues to push through this. Now let's move on. So we got some new dating things going on. It looks like Chili from the group of TLC is dating. Now she's off the market and she's dating an actor named Matthew Lawrence. So we will see with these two. I totally want to see Chili marry. So I don't know. We shall see. Now, we also spoke about the rumors of Rihanna not seen rehearsing for the Super Bowl. And according to Hollywood Life, Rihanna plans to involve her son in the first Super Bowl performance. So a source said she plans to have her son at the Super Bowl performance. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and she wouldn't have her son miss it for the world. The source also said she's so involved with the show and is approaching this with the same level of perfectionism that she does with the Savage X Fenty show. So it seems that Rihanna and her team probably have seen people commenting online, spreading around these rumors that she's not rehearsing. So I'm sure they definitely wanted to get on here and clear that up. Well, the Super Bowl show 
is very very close so i definitely can't wait to see her perform so we'll see how it goes you know i'm rooting for her to do the best and that is all that i have for today i will see you guys in the next video bye